Welcome back, Jam Squad, to another episode of Quarantine Cooking. And in today's video, we got a, a real experiment. I made a pizza in the crock pot, y'all. You feel me? The quarantine getting real. My oven broke, so I had to improvise. But we got a deep dish Sicilian crock pot pizza. First thing I gotta do is activate the yeast. So you just need warm water, a teaspoon of yeast, and a teaspoon of sugar, and let it sit for like 15 minutes. And while I was sitting, I was making my sauce. So for my sauce, I just used a teaspoon, tomato paste, some garlic, and I used about 24 ounces of tomato sauce. I used three small eight ounce cans. So, you use 24 ounces but everything will be listed down in the description below so don't worry about the measurements I'll list everything down below another thing while you making your sauce I advise don't turn the heat on as you're pouring your all the ingredients in, just pour all your ingredients in before you turn the burner on because the tomato sauce starts popping. So just pour everything in at once and just mix it in and just let it simmer on a low medium heat for about 30 minutes. But don't turn that heat on until you got everything in there because you will get popped. Now that the yeast is activated, you're gonna pour your two cups of flour in, teaspoon of oil, whatever oil you have, and you could do a teaspoon of salt. But I didn't use any salt. And then you're just gonna keep mixing until you have a soft dough. Now that the dough is all rolled up, put some oil on it so it doesn't dry out and you just cover it and you let it sit. Usually you can let it sit overnight but I didn't, I didn't have time to let it sit overnight so I just let it sit for two hours and it's still doubled in size. After two hours, that is what we have. Homemade piece of dough from the hands of me. <laughs> this is a a good um a good video for me because this is my first time making pizza. Now to form my crust for the deep dish pizza, I just fingered the dough. I didn't roll it out. I just fingered it and stretched it out to the size of the crock pot. Once your crust is formed, you just transfer it to the crock pot and you reform it to the shape of the crock pot because that of course is not the actual shape so you just reform it when it's in the actual crock pot and once you get it in the crock pot you make your little crust you put your sauce make sure your sauce is cool before you put it on your dough because you don't want your dough to cook halfway and be soggy it's gonna be nasty but now it's time to throw in your toppings 
only thing I added was cheese. You know, I'm basic. <laughs> Once you do that, you know I had to be a little fancy. I added a little garlic, parsley, butter on the crust, add a little flavor. But the time that I had this in the crock pot, I left the house and came back. That tells you how long it was in there. It was in there for about three hours on high. And that was a product. That was a finished product. And I wasn't even mad at it. Look at it. Look how look how sunken it is. Look at the cheese. It's like a it's like a pool of cheese. You just want to jump in. Tell me down look far. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share the video. Drop some ideas, whatever. But until next time, peace.